As a fast developing nation of more than 260 million people, Indonesia faces huge challenges towards satisfying its ever-growing need for energy. Fortunately, Indonesia's renewable energy and energy-efficient potentials are very promising. To date, renewable energy's share of the total energy mix is just 5 to 6 percent, with hydropower and geothermal energy contributing to the bulk, more than 70 percent. In the near future, the main task will be to diversify the renewable energy mix by accelerating the development of solar, wind, and bioenergy. Recognizing the potential, the Indonesian government has committed to an ambitious renewable energy target, planning for a 23% share of renewable energy in the energy mix by 2025, plus promoting energy efficiency by reducing energy consumption 17% from business as usual, and attain energy elasticity lower than one. Currently, developments in renewable energy are dominated by the government, state-owned enterprises, donors, and IPPs. To reach the renewable energy targets, participation and awareness by the private sector and a smooth collaboration with central and local governments will be required. According to the ESDM Minister's Regulation No. 50, 2017, investments in renewable energy by the private sector are welcomed. Administrative licenses can be obtained from BKPM, while the technical evaluation process is managed by PLN. In general, direct selection process is applied for all RE commodities. Different selection process details might occur for different commodities and capacity installment. Renewable Electricity Purchase Prices, or EPP, offered by PLN depend on the type of energy commodity and the local electricity production cost, or EPC, of PT-PLN power plants. For investments in regions with a local EPC below the national average, the price is subject to negotiation between the IPP and PLN. For investments in regions with a local EPC above the national average, the price varies according to the commodity. The maximum purchase price for electricity from hydro, geothermal, or waste is 100% of the local EPC, while for solar, wind, ocean, biomass, and biogas, the maximum is 85% of the local EPC. Energy savings in Indonesia through energy efficiency measures can potentially reach 9.7 billion USD by 2020. Each dollar invested in energy efficiency offsets $2 of investment in new power plants. The government welcomes investors into energy audits and energy efficiency implementation through ESCO arrangements. To be registered as an official ESCO, a company has to register through Director General EBTKE and fulfill these minimum requirements. Invest in renewable energy and energy conservation now and help us build a greener and brighter Indonesia.